Sweat it to the truth, nothing but the truth. Put my hands on the Bible, y'all put me to the booth. Sweat it to the truth. Hey, yo, real quick, you want the opportunity to rock some new merch? Go to the description box and hit that link, amagodeapparel.shop, and place your orders now. This helps me to deliver more content and give you the quality that you need. Again, that's amagodeapparel.shop, and we thank you for your support. Peace and love. And right now, everything is 25% off, and the sale is almost up. Amagodeapparel.shop. Type in that code, amagoday2024. Get you some of that merch, man. But what's going on, bro? Today, we got a good one for you all, my boy. Bishop Wooden going in as usual, getting on Raphael Warlock for being a pastor supporting abortion. That's crazy, ain't it? But without further ado, let's tap in. Reverend Warlock, Warlock, whatever, the man down there in South Carolina who pastors the church, uh, uh, that uh, Dr. King used to pass. Ebenezer, the man said, the man said, and some of y'all looking at me funny. When I, Ebenezer, what you getting ready to say? I'm getting ready to say what I'm getting ready to say. Let's stand on business, bro. Let's stand on business. I'm saying what I'm getting ready to say. I'm saying what I'm getting ready to say. Look, you, you get off me. <laughs> I, I, I felt something did. See, I'm. Look, Righteous indignation. I'm on the side of God's truth, abortion, reproductive rights. You can't be no dumber than that. Number one, there is no reproduction in abortion. There is no reproduction in abortion. That Ain't no such thing, bro. It's an oxymoron. And you a moron that's on oxy if you believe that. There is no reproduction in abortion. Abortion, by definition, is the interruption of reproduction. It is the man-made, unnatural interruption of reproduction. Two go in, one come out. If you got twins, three go in and one come out. It is the interruption of reproduction. Let's go ahead and break this down and make it simple. Abortion, the definition, by definition, is the deliberate, which is done consciously and intentionally, termination of a human pregnancy. Termination. So let's just call it for what it is. It's murdering a child. It's killing a baby is taking life. We've got black folk cheer. We cheer on the extermination of our own. I don't care if you don't like it. It's true. We pray for, promote, put up, and let have words in our church. Uh, uh, political figures who will stand up in the church will stand up in the church. And I want to talk. I just want you to know I'm for women's rights. Women's right is code for abortion. Bro, that's why I don't care nothing about when people saying Black Lives Matter, bro. For me to believe you on that, you have to be against abortion because ain't no way you can sit up here and say Black Lives Matter and these politicians the same way, pastors, whomever, and you say that you for the marginalized, the disenfranchised, and the oppressed, but you don't want to protect the most vulnerable in our society, these are the ones who are more susceptible to emotional and physical harm. And so you telling me that you for the people outside the womb, but you not for the people inside the womb, that's why I will never believe people when they say Black Lives Matter until you standing up for abortion. Because it's a contradiction. That your, your argument literally falls upon itself and let's just keep it a buck bro most black people don't want to say that that's wrong because politically they'll see themselves as siding with a conservative or with trump or with a white person it's this big thing now where people are so caught up on culture instead of the truth that because of a, what they perceive as a culture issue they're not willing to accept what's right 
because they're more in agreement with their culture, if that makes sense of what I'm saying. My wife, Rock Clarence, and I, uh, Brother Joshua, we were in a city and they had a pre, uh, uh, an elected official up in a particular city and the guy was talking about LGBTQ rights and trans rights and reproductive rights in a convocation. I, it could it couldn't have it couldn't have happened here i he would have never man. finished his sentence i would have went up there and got the mic and had he tried to keep me from getting the mic i would have closed line right and if i have to close line him i would have told him you can't see me and the next that's right he ain't bringing that stuff in the church all them folks be on that bro uh William Murphy, Raphael Warlock, Jamal Bryant, um, and it's many more pastors, but it's this liberal progressive ideology that focuses more on racism than the actual word of God. So you got people who are put in their culture before the truth. But man, I, I thank God for this man of God right here, bro, Bishop Wood. Uh, who holding the line, bro. He not straddling the fence. He holding the line, bro. And he's speaking the truth out here, bro. Standing up for what's actually right, man. But man, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, bro. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace, love. I'm out. Sweat it to the truth. Nothing but the truth. Put my hands on the Bible. Y'all put me to the booth. Sweat it to the truth.